No, I'm asking you, we want content that. to be Right, you did. I never said it's on you. Is that Milo? Is that Milo there? Is it? Where? Which one is Milo of those two? The one on the right? No, 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 that's not Milo. Milo's just in Milo. Is that Milo there? Ali, Ali. <laughs> you know what I actually don't want to Put this on, put this on. Put this on, put this on. Did you just say, what did you just say? I, I don't take pictures. Right, what country are you in? You've okay. got to abide by our rules. So what, you're going to put a bun to my head to take a picture no, no, with a female? No, you abide by our rules. That's my, no, 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 excuse me. No, I have a right to deny it. Because, no, 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 listen, listen. Okay, you guys should have a picture of Anton Chowdhury. You did. We've been a second citizen. We've been Hey, uh, come on, come on. No, that's not yeah. my aim at all. No. So what? So what do you, do you believe? Yeah. Some Sharia law. Like no. Yeah. Sharia law. You have to understand what it means. For me, Sharia it's law. It's about your life. No, no, no. no. You Sharia, Sharia law is the Quran and the Sunnah. Basically, yeah. the Hadith of the Prophet. So for me, that's an individual endeavor. Yeah. yeah if, if there's a if there's a majority Muslim nation which which is at the top level and at the bottom level to implement Sharia, Sharia is for Muslim people. It's not for non-Muslim people. So this we're living in England. England has got 66 million population, the, the vast majority of which are not Muslim. Only 4.8 percent of the population is Muslim. Well, they say so, it's six percent, but I think well, those figures are much more. It's more, well, it's more, more, it's more than six percent. But well, what England, I'm saying maybe to not, you, right? UK, what, what, country, what, what, what country yeah. are your parents from? Egypt. Egypt, right? right. So how about how would you feel? If in Egypt you were living in Egypt, yeah, and then your government, government just, that's what no, but your and then we've been colonized for many hundreds of years. Your by government the British, started importing. So I already we, we know how it feels. So this is revenge, basically. <laughs> no, no, this is what you're I've, saying. I've no, but I'm asking I don't you. want. Look, I've said to you, Sharia is only applicable for Muslims. It's not applicable for non-Muslims. But then in Andalusia they had to live under Sharia law, didn't they? And they had well, to look, pay the jizya, were, so they were and, living under Andalusia Sharia. Andalusia was a Muslim majority country at that point in time. But you take taken from the Spanish. Killed, no. Yeah, and the like Spanish took it back. But like with Jerusalem also, as well in yeah, Israel, yeah, Palestine is like, an Jerusalem illegitimate was, uh, state. There was Crusades. Yeah, which the, were a reaction 1095. to 500 years of Islamic... What was it? Pope no, Urban up. issued the first crusade yeah. in 1094. Yeah. So that might have raised completely alien to God as overtaken the holy cities. Islam has been responsible... Let me ask you a question. Sorry. What do you know of Islam? What do I know of Islam? Yeah. I know, I'd say I know, I know a bit. I don't know vast amounts. What is the basic tenets of Islam? What are the, what is, what is the basics of Islam? The five pillars of Islam. You yeah, believe in one God and you believe that Muhammad's the final messenger. Okay, that's one of those pillars. So you yeah. have to you believe in charity. Okay, what is it called? It's a car. Excellent. Now what else? You got two. Uh, well, be struggling here a bit. That's fine. That's fine. Stupid. So uh, it's a no. car. Yeah. You've got halal, f no, that wouldn't cap, class is it? No, so perhaps I don't know the rest All of the right, three. So, what's your name, sorry? James. James, listen, I'm not here to try and catch you out. Yeah. I'm just here to try and educate you. Because yeah, at the end fine. of the day, look, you wouldn't you wouldn't disagree with me that I probably know a little bit more about Islam than you Well, I'd hope so, because it's okay. your religion. Right, exactly, right? So what I'm I saying, don't know, I was, oh, born, I, I was born a Roman Catholic. Excellent. Most Roman Catholics don't know I'm, I'm saying about the, the most important thing to build barriers, to build bridges of communication is for, for you to understand. You need to be, I'm not saying this in any kind of yeah. patronizing way, but you need to be educated because you only know two or five pillars of Islam. But what I've seen of Islam, what I've seen of my country, the, effect, the effects that Islam in general has had on the world. Yes, I yes. mean, look at what the Palestinians no, here, are doing to the Israelis. But, you know, can I say you something? Sorry, James, was it James, yeah? yeah? James, what you're doing here, yeah. this is a fallacy, a logical fallacy, because what you're doing is you're taking a social extrapolation, what happens in society, and you're reducing it to one factor, which is in this case, Islam. But as we've discovered, you don't know enough about Islam to be able to make the link. Okay. No, Am I allowed to quote from the Quran in an Islamic country? Yeah. No, I'm not. No, but if you look, no. It's, a, it's an offence I mean, in Islam you've had for, several for, a, for an unbeliever. To quote? Yeah. Maybe, so allow, that, allow, Malaysia, allow them. Malaysia had You can quote from Malaysia, their book, but do not allow them to no, quote no, from that's, your that's book. That's not right. That's not, there's, not, there's nothing in the Quran or something that says. Can that. you tell me what countries have actually benefited from Sharia law? Yes, not of one of them. There's not one prosperous yes, Arab if, country if you know in the world. Anything about history, my friend, you'll know that there, there was a European, what was referred to in history as European Dark Ages. At the same time, you had the Abbasid Empire, which was at that time, all, most of the scientific knowledge was transferred to 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 um, to the European countries. Now, the Renaissance, which started about 1485, which is also the early modern period, was literally taking and borrowing from the Arabs, yeah, in order to further a, a civilization. Now, I agree that there were a series of decisions that were made by Muslim countries from the from the early modern period um, onwards that were problematic for themselves and for others. And that's why we're facing some issues. Now, what I'm trying to say to you is that there is a difference between Muslims and Islam. 
you have to have a you have to have a longitudinal as well as a holistic approach when you're looking at extrapolating from history. You can't just take one snapshot okay. or, or some right, phenomena we'll that are taking place Let, take, and then make a case from that. Let's you take the battle. I'm saying, right? I'm saying but, but you still haven't really answered what country now in this one. day and age. Well, well, now, prosperous Islamic country in the whole world. There are prosperous ones, but no. Are you talking about? That's a very good question, but it needs to be. It needs to be now reduced. Are you talking about economic uh, prosperity? Are you talking about social prosperity? Are you talking about educational prosperity? Certainly, what are we talking about? Certainly yeah. economically, I mean, look at somewhere like Saudi Arabia, which is, I find disgusting. But they're doing very well economically. There if are them a good high five, they've just let women drive. It's yeah, I mean, wow, yeah. Right, like no, 100 again, years of yeah, the yeah, they just started to drive there. I with their policy not to let women drive. You know why? Because the Prophet's wives used to ride camels and, and horses. There was no restriction from a Quranic or Islamic perspective that would otherwise stop women from driving. Now, your, your assumption is that now a country of 29 million people, or 29 million over 1.7 or 1.8 billion individuals, yeah, that, that is that we should take the, as the old be all and end all of what represents Islam. I say that's a false analogy. So what if they let us know for a country though? But well, you're not asking the question properly. Are you talking about economics? Can I just say this? Well, last economics, thing? certainly there are countries Sorry, that have done very well economically. Yeah. There are ones that have done very well economically. Yes, but okay. at the expense of, I mean, look at human rights. I mean, the very thing that we're talking about here today is exactly what Saudi Arabia so, does. Right, would you have. accept that also the West has been, right, your comments, uh, ha has been the master of or the perpetrators of uh, human rights abuses? I would say from with the pre Napoleonic wars. Do you know what I would put it to? The age of discovery onwards. Yeah, from around the same period of time we talked about, the West has been at the fore of imperial and uh, empire expansion, and that has had has had the catastrophic effect. I and put the most people. Was great, I mean, okay. my own family were involved with the no East problem. India Company. I have, I have so. no problem. There, there are very <laughs> views on the empire and all these things. I'm not saying that it was all bad. But what I am saying to you is. What you have to understand is that when you talk about human rights, what exactly are we talking about? Are we talking about slavery because that happens more and has happened more in the West than any other place in the world? No, 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 no sla no, slavery, no, 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 slavery. Wait, 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 we're missing one crucial thing. You're talking about slavery. What's going on in Libya at the moment? Christians are being held by Muslims yes. as slaves. Now, you said to me, why don't I like Islam? And I'm going to tell well, I'll you. Tell you. No, I'll tell you. Let me speak. Please course, let me get this. I've watched yes. you on YouTube for months and I've seen the way you talk to people. Yes. And it winds me up. You follow a primitive of belief systems. So you follow a no, no, but you, you follow a, but you follow a belief system. What's a primitive belief you, system? Too, no, right? Look at Islam. No, what does it mean? Primitive. Oh, what's stone primitive? Age belongs in the stone seventh age. century. Oh, oh, no. Talking of stone, stone. yeah, stone women today. Please, 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 please just let me yes, finish. Yes, of course. I'm against Islam because I'm sick of Muslim grooming gangs. I'm sick of Islamic terrorist attacks in this country. I believe in. It's hard because yes. you, what, no, what, okay, what no, was so, the statistic so that came yes, out? Yes, Fifty-four percent of British Muslims would have reported oh, no, another no, Muslim to the British no, authorities. No, so we've got a huge problem in this country, right. and how are we ever going to tackle it yeah, and address right. it when people James. like me speak out about Islam and I get, oh, you're a fascist, you're no, a racist, and also, and what you're saying there, I say, look, I want to I give him credit because what you said there, I believe, has a lot of merit, and we should not overlook the points that he made. There is a problem, you could say, with grooming gangs. I've looked into the statistics; some of them are skewed, other was would definitely suggest that there's a disproportionate Asian influence. 84 to 90 well, percent of men, no, but of men yes, are, yes. are Muslim. But here, that predominantly yeah, the victims are white or black. They're yes. not targeting Muslim children, no, no, and they and should the, be no, tried no, for racial hate crimes. Yeah, and the white pedophile. Right no, please yeah, let me finish. Course, course, if it was a white, if it was groups of white men going yes. out raping Muslim well, actually, kids, you'd okay. be burning the streets. James, James, can I say something? Make a point because you've made a very passionate, impassioned uh, case. But I want to counter it by saying, you know, in 2014, yeah. there was an act put a past in Parliament called the Modern Slavery Act. Okay. Every year from that year. They've been collating data as to how much human trafficking has been happening, who is habit, who are the victims and who are the perpetrators. And what we can find is that of the top 10 countries of which people are being uh, trafficked, five of them are Muslim majority countries, including Afghanistan, Albania, Nigeria, which is uh, half Muslim, etc. Now, what the point is here, the perpetrators of that kind of modern slavery or otherwise uh, known as human trafficking are actually white men. But here, grooming gangs what's are majority. In Libya, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Before we talk about Libya, which we're both against, what's happening there, let's talk about what's happening in our backyard. So I'm saying to you that if you really have a problem with grooming, I believe, in my personal opinion, human trafficking is a heavier problem, is a bigger problem. You know why? Because people are being enslaved in our backyard and we're not hearing about it. So who are, who's doing the enslaving and who's doing the trafficking? What happens when we realize that it's white men doing the enslaving and trafficking? So I would say, look, 
I'm not making this a racial issue. It's It'll not be, a racial issue. It's all your crime. Look, right? Like okay, I said fine. before, no, if it was No, they're not. You understand the point? I'm saying that just because, just because, right? Um, it's, it's majority white men that are doing it. It doesn't mean now we're going to say, yeah, that okay, there's a white problem, and that's what you need to adopt. That same. That's 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 if you accept that it is majority white, majority white do you men see what doing I'm saying? it, yes, I don't accept that. Well, well Polaris, look for example, it, Polaris, which is a study in, in America, yeah, when it talks about human trafficking in America, they concluded that the majority of people that are actually trafficking, uh, ethnic minorities, happen to be white. American men. The same thing applies, the same statistic applies to, uh, in Europe. Look at the data that you, uh, the parliament has actually put forward. 2014, up until this day, they've had the Modern Slavery Act, and after that, they've been commissioning data every year to see what the statistics are. And, they, and, and the victims of that are always ethnic minorities, but why do we not talk about it? Every time, slavery, every time slavery is talked about, it becomes white on black issue on coloured issue, whereas it goes back, every time. everyone's done it, everyone's done it through history, well, even I though even this, the North African, about, yes. North African barbaries were yes, taking course, white course. people from Cornwall I, I'm not denying that, we I'm not denying that, but what I'm saying is today, we're talking about British policies that potentially we can change and we have a voice to change. So why are we talking about Libya, which we know it doesn't even have a stable government, has ISIS as yes, yes, taking over? We both are against it. It's a bit of a waste of time. We don't agree with them. We're on your side on that one. Is it right? Yeah? But still, I can't... Right. So I can't accept all your facts. No, it's good to always like absorb. I've absorbed what you said. I hope you absorb what I've said. Well, you can think about it. So, as you can see, guys, our freedom of speech right now we are not allowed in. Yeah. So, so the thing is. Look, Kaelan, 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 I'll wait one second for you, Kaelan, George, and uh, Lucy told me that I would come here today. Are you speaking? No, I'm not listening. Are you speaking today? I'm supposed to. You're going to do some free speech too? Yeah, I'm trying to. Some of them aren't, because if you were hobbyists from Iraq that came over and their views were a bit funny, but 